Hello, thanks for joining me today. This is Danny, and welcome back to my modded 1.10.2 series. You may see that I have in my hand the AA book. That's Alcoholics and Anonymous. Wait, wait. Nope, that would be the Actually Editions manual in my hand. <laughs> because we are going to be playing around with Actually Editions today. It's been a while since we played with Actually Editions. I actually, well, actually, actually, it actually hasn't been that long. Um, because I've been using this mod quite a bit throughout the series, um, but we did have just one episode dedicated to actual editions way back in the beginning, where we kind of set up some of our basic infrastructure for some of the crafting components like this thing, the Atomic Reconstructor, which we're going to be using today. And we made some things like this drill, which was pretty freaking awesome. This coffee machine, or this coffee maker, which basically makes things that are kind of like potions that you can drink with several, like, doses. And what else did we do? We, we have a actual editions generator. And what was, yeah, right here, which is a pretty efficient generator that generates 60 RF per tick. It can also, as you can see, it can also generate Tesla, which we don't really have any support for in this mod pack um, very much. We've also been using this greenhouse glass from Actual Editions, which has been making our stuff grow like freaking crazy. <laughs> um, so we've been using a lot of stuff from this mod throughout this series. So I decided that I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into this mod because there's a lot of stuff that we haven't really touched yet. And, th and there's still going to be after today's episode because there's actually actually one of the things i don't like about this mod is that every time i use this mod it becomes apparent to me how often i use that word actually i use the word actually a lot i say that a lot <laughs> and i don't usually notice it unless i'm playing with actually editions um so you will probably notice that i'm using that word a lot today and if you want to count it and put it in the comments how many times i said the word actually no, maybe don't do that. <laughs> it's very well documented, and all the documentation is in-game. And even better than that, it is integrated with JEI, which is freaking awesome. So when you look up a recipe in JEI, like for instance, um, today at some point we're going to make solar panels from Actual Editions. And if you click on the solar panel, you'll see, hey, here's the recipe. It's got some crazy stuff that we've never seen before. Well, some of it we've seen. Oh, come to think of it. No, these are empowered Inori crystals. We have not played with these yet because we haven't done any empowering yet. Um, but if we click through, we will see the entry from the Actual Editions manual right here, right from JEI. The solar panel produces 8 RF per tick, and it tells us about the thing. And then we can click on this, and it'll take us right to that page in the manual. So we can read all about whatever that product, or <laughs> product. We can read all about that item. Um, right from JEI. That is really freaking awesome. And that is even true if we don't have the book in our inventory. So, um, but the book, it's quite cheap. <laughs> it's a canola seed and paper. So it's not a terribly difficult recipe. And if I remember correctly, it will appear in your inventory if you, if you have not crafted one yet. As soon as you craft something from Actual Editions, you will get the book. At least that used to be the case. It probably is still the case. So there's a few things that I want to play with today. Now, in the last episode, a couple episodes ago, I, I did this mostly, I think I did it mostly off camera, but I made this pickaxe. It is an emeratic crystal pick. So actually, Editions has, let's just, for instance, look at pickaxes because that'll kind of give us a sense of all the different materials that are available through actually Editions. Um, we've got black quartz, which is something that we just mine in the world. Um, we get this black quartz ore, which ends up giving us black quartz. And we have we have the emerald, we have obsidian, um, and then we have redstonia, and then we have all the crystals. So redstonia is a crystal, and so is palis. And obviously redstonia is made from redstone, palis is made from um, lapis, diamatine is made from diamonds, and void crystals are made from coal. And emeratic is made from emeralds. Um, and anori is made from iron. And emeratic is the top tier. Um, as we can see, it has the highest attack damage. I mean, this pick has a 7.5 attack damage, which is pretty freaking amazing for a pick. 
Um, but it's also quite fast, and then I also beefed it up with Mending and Efficiency 4 and Fortune 3. So I ended up with a really freaking fast pick. Um, in fact, it ended up, I mean, with all my Tinker's tools that I've made and all the other stuff that I've done, um, this actually ended up, actually, <laughs> see, now I'm going to hear myself saying that word every time. This pick actually ended up being one of the fastest ones that I've made. I mean, check that out. <laughs> that is a freaking fast pick. And as you can guess, it's made from emeralds um, that have been um, turned into crystals. And, and we've, we've seen that process before, but I'll show you the process really quickly again because it's, you know, it's quite simple. And we're going to be using it for a lot of things today. No, I, I, but I'm first I'm going to fill in my little hole that I made here just for fun. Um, but one of the first things that I want to do today is I want to make um, an AOIT. <laughs> what is an AOIT? An AOIT, I-O-T, an AOIT is an all-in-one tool. And we have all the different materials, like all the vanilla materials. We have wood, stone, blah, blah, blah. And as you might guess, these are combinations of all of the tools. <laughs> so we can use this thing. We can use this thing as a shovel. We can use it as a sword. We can use it as all these things. And you can see it's got an attack damage of 10 and a half, which is actually even more than the sword. Uh, yeah, but we have to make all these things first. And the way we're going to do this, the emerald is the top tier. So we're just going to jump right to the top tier be just because we can, because we've got tons of emeralds. So we're going to need, we already have the pick. So we're going to need three, five, six, eight or yeah, eight more emeralds. So if you're making this from scratch, you'll need 11 emeralds. Oh, we already have emerald crystals. Okay. So we don't even have to do those. But the way we would do this, if we were to do this from scratch, is we would come down here to our atomic reconstructor. We would throw all our emeralds in front of it. I'm just going to do one now because I already have enough. And then, and then we give it a redstone signal. And then we get our crystal. So we've done this before. And right now this thing is set to um, run on redstone pulse. I think when you first get it, it's set to run all the time, unless it has a redstone signal. Um, but all you have to do is right click it with a redstone torch to toggle between those modes. And that's the case with pretty much all actual editions um, machines. So, is that, yeah, that's emeratic. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do this. So emeratic um, axe. And we'll just throw it in there. Emeratic. Oh, we already have that. Emeratic sword. I've, Hoping it's going to let us use this. Um, if not, there is a way we can get the enchants out of that. See if it lets us do this. Okay, it is letting us do it, but we're going to lose the enchants. Um, I don't, I don't want to lose those enchants. So we're going to have to pull those enchants out of there, and there's a way we can do that with actual additions as well. <laughs> and that is with a lens. So lenses are things that we can put on our atomic reconstructor that we just played with downstairs. Um, and what we need is the lens of disenchanting. Um, however, in order to make those lenses, we're going to need empowered diamatine crystals. So the diamatine crystals, as you might guess, are made from diamonds, um, but they are also then empowered. So first we make our diamantine crystal in our atomic reconstructor by doing the process that we just did with our emeralds. Um, we might even have some already. Oh, we don't. Okay. And we're going to need how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then we're going to have to take those diamantine crystals and empower them um, in the empowerer. So to make the empowerer, we're going to make, well, the empowerer itself in addition to four display stands. So we're going to end up making five display stands which means we're going to need 15 of each of these. So 15 aesthetic green blocks <laughs> and 15 aesthetic quartz. And these are also made in our atomic reconstructor. So we're going to need 15 chiseled quartz blocks, 15. For these guys, we just need regular blocks of quartz. So I'm just going to throw all these down there. And the more I believe the more we put down there, the more RF it's going to take. Um, 
So we got our aesthetic quartz, but we didn't get... I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Aesthetic green block. That we get from chiseled quartz blocks. Maybe it was too much. Maybe we overloaded it. Chiseled quartz block. That's what that says, right? Chiseled quartz block. There we go. Okay. Make... Oh, boy. Okay, so we're going to make a bunch of advanced coils, which require basic coils. These are redstonia crystals. One, two, three, four, five, right? Those are redstone in the atomic reconstructor. And then we need five of these. One, two, three. I knew we were going to run out of those. <laughs> gold nuggets, man. I use gold nuggets like crazy. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm always, always running out of gold nuggets. Three, four, five. Okay. And then, then we need, oh wait, we're making these right now. One, two, three, four, five. So the display stands, um, on their own actually have have their own function. For one, obviously you can use them to display things per their name. So let's say we think it's really cool that we have these diamonds. We can go like that and say, check it out, man, I have diamonds. So it's, you can use it for displaying things. Um, it also has some actual functional purposes. Pump RF into this, you can see it's pulling RF. It takes, wow, 800, 800,000 RF. Um, if we put, First of all, if we put a leaf blower in there, um, a leaf blower is an item that we can use to, as you might guess, destroy leaves and stuff. I mean, destroy grass and stuff from an area. If we put that in a pedestal that's being powered with RF, it's going to remove all the grass in the area surrounding it. Um, also, now a while back, we made these rings from actual additions. Um, we made one of resistance and one of strength when we want to fight the Gaia Guardian. And these freaking rings are so awesome. But they are a little expensive. Um, they have the regular ring of resistance and lots of, it's pretty much every effect that you can imagine there are rings for. Um, speed, whatever, night vision, all that stuff. And once you make it, if you hold it in your hotbar, you get that potion effect forever and it doesn't cost anything. Um, and then if you make the advanced one, which requires an ender star, which is dragon's breath, um, prismarine, and then the nether star. Um, a nice use for dragon's breath. There aren't very many <laughs> that are, you know, actually decent. But as you can see, I have these effects right now. And if I take these rings out, let's just put them up in the crafting. We lose the effects. Now, if we put them in here. Oh, not that. If we put, there's no GUI. <laughs> If we put, let's see, what do we got here? Resistance, we put that in there. Um, let's put this away. We now have resistance. It's going to take RF and it's going to give everybody resistance who is in the vicinity of this um, stand. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, that's not what we're using this for today. That was just, uh, just a little demonstration of what can be done. What we are going to do is we're going to use one of these to make our empowerer. Um, we're going to need a double battery. I have a double battery. Oh, that's another thing we're going to make today. We're going to the the actually editions has a bunch of batteries. Um, the first the first one holds a million RF. Um, the second one holds two, three, four and up to 5 million RF. We're going to go all the way to the quintuple, which holds 5 million RF, um, because I want 5 million RF, because I think that's cool. <laughs> and as you can see, this one requires empowered diamondite crystals. This one requires empowered anori, which are the um, iron ones, and then so on and so forth until we get down here, which requires anori. That's why I have the double battery right now, because that's as far as I could go without the um, empowerer. So, you know what? I'm going to make a battery, because... I'm going to just keep that one for now. When you have these guys in your inventory, if you shift right click on them, um, you will cause them to charge other items in your inventory. Right now it's not, and you can see it doesn't have that crazy glowy thing. And if I shift right click on it, it has the crazy glowy thing again, which means that it is now charging stuff in our inventory. So where was I? I was going to do the empowerer. Then we need these iron casings. We're gonna need a lot of those today, if I remember correctly. And now we should have everything. Ta-da! All right, we, we have the empower. Where's my other display stand? It's in here because <laughs> refined storage took it out of my 
took one out of my inventory maybe because that one has redstone i mean has let's just go over here because we have space i'm not probably not going to leave this here oh you know what let's do it over here this area is actually newly secured um so let's put so to do empowering we set down the empower and then we set down these display stands nope We set down these display stands so there are two blocks in between. So three blocks away from the empowerer. And then these guys all need um, redstone. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll run some piping under that. But then the way this is gonna work is we put the item that we want to empower in the middle. And then we put some other items that we're going to be using as kind of infusing items on these altars so it's you know it's it's like another you know because like it says here because every mod needs an infusion altar <laughs> there really are a lot of them when you think about it there are a lot of mods that have similar um, kind of infusion type crafting things we've got our seven diamonds now we have our seven diamantine crystals this guy in the middle to clay, a clay, <laughs> and a that. Ooh, look at that. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. I love that. Hopefully we have enough power. No, oh, yeah, it definitely looks like the power is keeping up, so that is not a problem. I wonder how long it takes. Ooh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was cool. Did you see that? Poof. It was like a big poof. Hooray. Nice. So now, of course, we can take this and get our nine powered crystals. And then we need to make an enchanting table. And then the lens. Hooray! So the lens of disenchanting. So now what we need is a book or two. <laughs> and I think, if I remember correctly, nice. What's going to happen is it's going to take the first enchant and put it in this book, but it's going to cost a lot of RF. So what did we get? We got mending. Hooray! How much RF do we get? See, no, we're almost out of RF, so I guess I'm not piping RF into this thing, so I'm going to have to do that. It was... this. I actually set this up way back when we had Neotech pipes down here, which no longer exist, actually, because the Neotech devs are in the process of coming up with a whole new pipe system. Although I do kind of wish they would have kept the old pipes there until the new pipe system was finished, but yeah, whatever. Now we're going to get our efficiency. Okay. Wow, that takes a lot of RF. One more. Throw a book down. And you know what? I think... I don't think actually... I don't even think we have to use separate books. We could just use the same book. And it'll add it to that one. Yeah, so we actually, we could have put them all in the same book, all three of them. So we didn't really need all the separate books, but oh well. It's not like books are expensive or anything. But it would have made it easier to re-enchant. So now we have an unenchanted emeratic crystal pickaxe. So emeratic aoit. Ta-da! Wait. Ta-da! Dun-dun-dun-dun. Oh, you know what? I'm not really sure what kind of enchants this thing will take. Let's see. Let's hope that it takes these. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Because <laughs> you know how sometimes some things, some multi-like tools like this will take... Uh... Oh, I'm kind of wasting XP. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't matter much if I waste a little XP. And then... Whoa, and that's it for our anvil. 
that you know that always freaks me out when the anvils break so we now have this guy um it's not of course it's not gonna be as powerful as our cleaver i wonder if we could put like some kind of um sword enchant on this let's let's see once darkness four that would be nice but i i <laughs> don't have an anvil so this is how you make an anvil <laughs> in case you didn't know nope okay so i don't know if it's because we already put um pickaxe enchants on there but do i have another a right all in one yeah i do have another all in one tool i made a wooden one early on just because i was playing around with it um, but let's see if this one will take the sharpness enchant it won't okay so something to keep in mind it will not take um sword enchants it'll only take tool enchants what i really like about the all-in-one tool is that it it's an all-in-one tool. We can break everything. Like wood. I don't want to break these trees, though. <laughs> like wood. Wow, and it's really fast, too. Nice. Those. Look at that. Everything. And, of course, um... That. And theoretically, we already had the drill, which was capable of doing that as well. But the nice thing about the all-in-one tool... Oh, actually, the drill doesn't do wood very well. Okay. So the <laughs> so that's the nice thing. That's one of the nice things about the all-in-one tool is that it works as an axe. Um, it also works as a hoe. <laughs> it's so nice not to have to fill up your inventory with all that crap. You just have this one tool. And then the drill will use, well, the drill requires RF, whereas this guy doesn't. And because it has mending, we don't even have to worry about um, repairing it. It's just always going to be there for us forever. And in a pinch, we can use it as a weapon, a pretty freaking good weapon. I mean, 10 and a half attack damage is not bad. I mean, that's that's two hits to a zombie and and all that. Certainly not as good as our cleaver, but it is faster. This is actually quite fast. Yeah, it's definitely faster than the cleaver. So we've got a faster weapon here, um, but not as powerful. But we could probably get in two hits. One, let's see, if we pull, let it go all the way back. One, two, and the time that it takes to do one hit with the cleaver. One. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so let's let's just play around with that a little bit. So here's our zombie. We should be able to get him in one, two hits. Not this guy, because he's got armor. We've got to hit him three times. But that, you know, that is not a bad weapon. Especially considering that when we're done killing zombies, we can just start digging. <laughs> Without having to go, do, 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 do. okay, where's my other, where's my shovel, and where's my axe, and yeah. Now our drill, we have speed one, two, and three on this, so our drill's pretty fast too. In fact, you know, I'm interested in comparing. This is our drill. Pretty fast, right? Um, especially since it's doing three by three. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh, ooh, look at that. And we've got looting, so we can grab this. And we got five draconium dust. Nice. Man, that is crazy fast, and we can do clay with it and everything. Let's do our solar panels now. Now, of course, these guys only produce eight RF per tick, and only during the day. Um, but, you know, if you make a lot of them... <laughs> That could actually work out pretty well. So we just need a bunch of empowered Inori crystals. And I'd like to make about 30. Actually, I was thinking 32 of these because there's two 16 by 16 squares or 4 by 4 squares on top of that building that I'd like to put these on. Um, that would might actually be kind of pricey, though. Let's see. So we would need, if I wanted to make 32, we would need two stacks of iron um, to, to have two stacks. Uh, but then we would also need 32 32 diamonds. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> we got to get our lens of disenchanting off of here. Okay, so it actually, I don't think it took any RF, so it doesn't matter. But we need an empty hand, and then we right click. Um, and then we can start doing, doing our normal stuff. 
if you can call it that. <laughs> How normal is it? I don't know. So I'm going to have to do this 16 times. <laughs> I'm not going to make you watch every single time. Maybe just the first time. I'm going to make you sit there and watch. <laughs> the first time I do this. Just because it looks so cool, right? <laughs> Hooray! I wonder... I wonder if we can pipe things into these. You can! <laughs> nice! You can pipe things into these. Oh, that is awesome. So we could set up auto-crafting. Okay, let's see if this works. Insert... from here... I mean, to here... and extract... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I'll put another chest on the other side. That's beautiful. So we can walk away from this and just let it finish. 32. Hooray. So we should be able to... We should be able to produce 256 RF per tick. Uh. <laughs> During the day. And in fact, I'm thinking probably at high noon. We're getting 8 RF per tick. When the sun is low, so... That is cool. So that means we're getting, we get AR, 8 RF per tick whenever the sun is up. Nice. So it isn't just at high noon, like with the, uh, Ender, <laughs> like with the Ender IO ones. I've got everything wired up here. Of course, we're going to put conduit facades on all this stuff so that we don't have to look at that. But um, they're all going into this capacitor banks just so that we can watch what's going on. And then from here, it's going into our main power. And it also, It'll also be a nice buffer in case um, in case there's overflow, in case we're producing more RF than we're using. It can save it during the day and then use it at night. So I'm going to sleep, and when I wake up, <laughs> we should have some power coming in. Okay, so these guys should now be pulling in. Just disable that. Alright, 256 RF per tick, which is exactly what I would have expected. Um, from 32 solar panels, each producing 8 RF per tick. <laughs> Triple. Quadruple. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we want quintuple, don't we? Yes, we need some more empowered crystals. And, hey, we lost our RF. RF. That was somewhere along the line. And quintuple, hooray! Now, to charge this guy up... We could go in any one of our power cells or um, whatever and charge it up. But wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if we didn't have to do that? Well, guess what? So the player interface is quite expensive. <laughs> but this guy will allow us to pipe RF and items into our inventory uh, remotely when we're close by, like the wireless charger from Ender.io. Except that it only charges the player who set it down. If you're on a multiplayer server and you only want to charge your own stuff, um, you can set one of these guys up. And then you can also, like I said, use it to pipe items into your inventory as well. So what are we going to need here? We've got two empowered diamonds and then five ender casings, which each require four empowered diamonds. So we're going to need 22 diamonds. 22 empowered diamonds. Because I have a hopper duct here instead of an actual chest, which would be pretty easy to make that upgrade, but we'll have to do them one at a time. So I'll just put the diamondite crystals in the first because they're faster. Oops, and I always I do that every time. Every single time. <laughs> I'll put um, half of our clay in here. <laughs> See? I'll put the other half over here. I will put... Our other clay, our pl clay blocks right there, and our die here. So then it'll just do that. It'll get these first four popped out right away because it, do it does those pretty quickly, but the blocks take a little longer. It would be nice if there was some indication of progress. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> All our goodies are in here, which is nice. So we'll just extract these right away. Five of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. And one of these. Player interface. 
Right. Battery has 600,000 RF right now. Put that in the world, and our battery is charging. <laughs> nice. I don't know what the range is, though. Let's see. Let's come over here. We are still in the range. Wow. And we can make it bigger. We can actually increase the range. Holy crap. That That's a pretty nice range. So it seems somewhere around here. Yeah, right about here. So that looks like it's about, what, 32 blocks or so? Nice. So when whenever we're in this whole area around here, let's see, we will be charging. Um, and then we have a 5 million RF buffer. So that'll be enough <laughs> to keep us going on our travels and wherever we go far away from there. And then every time we come back here, it'll fill up again. There's one more thing I want to make today, and that is the repairer, the item repairer. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna need 40 diamonds for this. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> I did a little resource gathering with some of my new mining tools. So we've got everything we need now, or we should. Let's see, here's our ender casing and our item repairer. Hooray! Um, hmm. I am going to do this in here. Just because. Just because we're over here right now. Um, so what the item repairer does is anything that you can repair in an anvil, you can repair in here with nothing but RF. A lot of RF, <laughs> but nothing but RF. For instance, I have a helm that I can no longer repair, and I can't add any enchants to it anymore, so I can't put mending on it. And But Tanya is removing Timeless Ivy, which friggin' sucks. So, <laughs> we can put this guy in here. And it's gonna take a lot of RF. In fact, it's taking more um, than, how much? 640 RF per tick, because our buffer is running out. Look at that, so nice. <laughs> Yay, look at that, fully repaired. <laughs> nice. So now theoretically, one could imagine, I'm not going to do this today, but one could imagine the possibility of piping stuff out of your inventory when it gets down to a certain level of damage. Sticking it in here until it's full and then sticking it back in your inventory. That would be interesting. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have any ideas or whatever. Um, and of course, don't forget to click the like button if you did enjoy this and to join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.